guys, so in this video I'd like to show you how I like to play on my little arrangement of autumn leaves. So firstly, it goes like this. this linked in the description, but breaking that down, it's an AABC form, and in both part A's I use a very simple walking bass line in my left hand. It just starts on a root note and walks down or up to the next root note. I'm playing are rootless chords, which I have a whole separate video on. But in short, they're chords that don't have a root, thus being rootless, and instead add either a ninth or a thirteenth, or some kind of tension to make it a bit jazzier. So just the chords with the walking bass line sounds like this. I play in between the gaps in the melody. So I play the melody, then when there's a long note, so a gap in the melody where nothing's happening, I play the chords. Melody, long note, chords, and so on. So together, a little bit slower, it looks like this. Sometimes, instead of just playing all four notes at the same time of the chord, I kind of do a little three notes and then the, add the other note in a little bit later. That's still the same regular chord, um, but I'm just playing three notes and then dropping the fourth one in slightly later. Just to get a bit more movement into the harmony and to act as a kind of counter melody to the real melody. The second A section, I do the exact same thing, but I change the melody slightly so that instead of going up, I come down. But otherwise, everything else is the same. Bass line is the same, the rootless chords are the same, it's just that I've flipped the melody so that it walks down to the last note rather than up. Now in section B, I use a combination of quartal and open voicings. So I play the melody. Um, simultaneously, I play the root note of the chord in, the, in my left hand. And then a quartal voicing. Of both chords, of the A half diminished going to that D7. Melody and root note again. Then a nice open G minor 11 voicing. Melody and root note. Quartal and open. Melody root note again. And then two quartal or so what voicings. Mm -hmm. 
And so that's section B. So section B is a bit um, sparser because it doesn't have that driving rhythm of the walking bass line. Instead for the harmony, as we just saw, I'm hitting the root note and then playing some kind of quartal, open or so what voicing um, for my chords. And as you can hear, because they're largely built in fourths, they're a little bit more um, you know, ambiguous and interesting sounding and modern sounding, I guess. Then finally for the C section, I go back into a standard walking bass line in my left hand. And my right hand, while it does start with the melody, drop the melody completely for the rest of the song um, and instead I play chromatically descending quartal chords so just three note quartal chords with my right hand over the walking bass line until I get to that one so the quartal chord with the G on top because um, that lines up nicely with the G minor chord in the left hand and the note, bass note G in the left hand. Um, so it kind of feels a little bit resolved, but also not completely resolved because we are using that quartal chord. Still feels a little bit strange and up in the air, um, but I quite like that. So that was literally taking this chord shape, this quartal chord shape, uh, F, B flat, E flat, and just walking every note down by a semitone. So yes, we dropped the melody for the last few bars, but that's what kind of makes it interesting, I think. The listener's expecting you to go back to the melody, but instead they get this these chromatically descending quartal chords in place of the melody, um, which I think catches your attention a bit more. Cool, and that's really it. Then to improvise over this song, I would just do a straight walking bass line all the way through in my left hand and improvise using the B flat major and G blues scale, sort of alternating between uh, the two scales in my right hand. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.